There's this collection of islands near Stockholm that most people don't know about. I certainly never heard about it before until a friend told me on one of my travels. It's called the Stockholm Archipelago and is like Mother Nature's necklace. A stunning collection of over 30,000 islands, big and small, sprinkled across the sparkling waters near Sweden's capital city. It honestly feels like it's come straight out of a fairy tale. This is like Europe's best kept secret, and I'm about to show you why in this video as I go through the top things to do, where to stay, and where to eat. Some things I don't have time to fully cover in this video are flights, rental cars, and finding the best vacation packages. But don't worry, I've still got you. I've linked my go-to website that I personally use for all of this info in the description, so be sure to check that out. Let's get into it. What to do in Stockholm's archipelago. While Stockholm's archipelago is stunning, it's not just about the breathtaking scenery. These islands are like a playground for sea lovers, offering everything from kayaking and fishing to island hopping adventures. In the summer, the archipelago comes alive with locals sailing their boats, enjoying picnics and soaking up the sun. It's the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of city life, which is why I loved it so much. There are a ton of islands here, so here's a rundown on some of the best islands and activities you can do during your time. Grinda. Grinda is like stepping into a Nordic postcard. The untouched beaches and the crystal clear waters make it a paradise for nature lovers like me. I spent a lazy summer day taking in the sun, renting kayaks, and taking peaceful strolls through the forest trails. And oh, the aroma of Grinda bread and those heavenly cinnamon buns from the local cafe, absolute must tries. Svartso. Known as the greenest island, this definitely lived up to its reputation. Depending on what season you're visiting during, you can do different things like summer swims in the lake, biking through vibrant autumn foliage, and yes, a winter sea swim followed by a sauna session. With only a hundred residents, it felt like having my private island getaway, away from the rush of everyday life. Fjederholmarna. This island is like a bohemian painting come to life. A short ferry ride from the city, I spent a day strolling along the shoreline, exploring artist studios and enjoying a picnic. The artistic vibe of Stora Fjederholmen is incredible, and I couldn't resist picking up unique crafts and artwork as souvenirs. Sandon. Zandon, or Zandham, felt like a Baltic gem. The ferry journey, about two hours, gave me some breathtaking views of the archipelago. The main town, with its clapboard houses and upscale boutiques, had like a cosmopolitan flair against the island's natural backdrop. The restaurants here are really amazing. Now there are a ton of things that you can do during your time on the islands, and it will all depend on the season that you're visiting during and also the specific islands, but these two things are a must. Kayaking. You can rent a kayak on many of the islands and just enjoy floating on the gorgeous glassy waters. If you go with experienced kayakers, you can learn more about the hidden corners and secluded spots. It's a perfect way to connect with nature, and the sense of freedom on the water is so hard to put into words, but it felt incredibly peaceful and freeing. Hiking trails. The hiking trails in the Stockholm archipelago are amazing. I chose one of the smaller islands for a day trip, and the beautiful forests and shorelines felt like a personal discovery. I also went for a cycling tour, which added a bit of adventure and was super fun, so I'd definitely recommend this. Where to stay in Stockholm's archipelago? Smådalarugård Hotel and Spa. Tucked on the Smadalaro Peninsula in Stockholm Archipelago, this cozy hotel has been embracing guests since the 18th century. Here, you'll be waking up to views that dance between the sea and countryside. Whether you're on a romantic getaway or with friends and family, this place really has a homely feel to it. And the restaurant here is fantastic, serving both classic Swedish dishes and international dishes. Grand Hotel Salzjöbaden. 
This hotel is perfect for a touch of luxury by the seaside. The service here is simply outstanding, and it was a really memorable experience for me here. They've got an indoor pool, a fitness center, and a spa all at your fingertips. They do everything to make you feel as comfortable as possible. Plus, the sea views are absolutely breathtaking. Wax Holmes Hotel. My favorite thing hands down at this hotel was waking up to the stunning Baltic sea views. Nestled on an idyllic island, this hotel is conveniently located so that you can hike, bike, and swim right at your doorstep. And when you're hungry, the on-site restaurant serves up delicious Swedish classics. Best food spots, Strömma Krog and Kanal Bar. Nestled next to Strömma Canal on Värmdö Island, this restaurant gives you an incredible al fresco dining experience by the water. It's a perfect summer retreat without venturing too far from the city. Even if it's raining, don't worry, there's a cozy glass veranda for shelter. I ate some archipelago classics like Toastskagen and tried more global flavors and it was all delicious. You can come here by car or bus from Slusen, and yes, there's a regular boat connection with Strömma Bolaget, a Fjetter Holmarnes Krog. This is a short boat hop from the city. After a stroll through its charming streets, I sat down at Fjetter Holmarnes Krog for some delicious fish and shellfish, along with archipelago-inspired classics. The setting by the jetty was incredible. Note, there's no land access, but you have options like Fjetterholmslinjen, Strömme, taxi boat, and different charter boats. Bullende Krog. Located in the largest marina in eastern Sweden, Bolando Krog gives you a front row seat to the bustling boat life. I enjoyed a relaxed dinner with a chilled white on the huge veranda, eating archipelago classics. They also have live music performances on the jetty, which makes the whole place come to life. It's easily reachable by car or bus, SL, but no boat connection directly. Restaurant Jungfrusund. This is a hidden gem in Jungfrusund Bay on Ekero Island, and it absolutely won me over with its intimate and inviting atmosphere. Open year-round, you can have lunch, dinner, and brunch with especially stunning views during the summer months. Accessible by car or bus, SL, it's a cozy spot to warm up with a bowl of Bui Lebes in the winter. After having one of my most relaxing trips in Stockholm's archipelago, I was honestly surprised that I hadn't heard of it before. Hopefully, after seeing just how beautiful it is yourself, you'll agree. If you found this video helpful or just enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.